welcome back to Skyrim Choose Your Own Adventure, the story of Jace. At this point, Jace is steering the ship. He's choosing his own adventure. That's right. He has become self-aware. Anyways, we're continuing this very long uh, main quest line story. And... At this point, we're going to try to finally make it to Alduin's Wall. We've come a long way over the past few episodes, but we've got everyone together here, and, uh, yeah, I'm expecting this to be a pretty significant fight, although, who really knows? So here's Esbern, looking like a zombie. We've got Chatty Mercurio. I haven't really heard these voice lines before, but apparently he's not too pleased about the Forsworn or the Reach. The Forsworn, as we'll see, are kind of like, I don't know, aboriginal people? I'm not really sure. Um, I've never really stopped to consider, you know, them and their feelings. <laughs> Mainly because they're, they're quite challenging to fight, so t typically I've been so overwhelmed by fighting them. Um, so we can see some there off in the distance. They should have warrior... Oh, it's on. Okay, enough talking. Um, what are we going to do here? Let's get a decent... That's the power we want. We want to help. Basically with crowd control, I think, as much as possible. Um, we're going to use courage in one hand. And then probably... We might switch to healing... Um, let's just see what weapon we have. Yeah, all right, we'll use... Okay, so Delphine just goes in. We're gonna hit her with a little bit of help. Um, look at this guy. He's stuck! Where, where did he go? He's dead. Um, we'll hit her again. Who killed him? She's down. Um, I'm not really sure what happened there. I didn't get bit hit by that, but um, everyone else just got annihilated. Yeah. Um, I'm, I really don't know, but uh, we'll stay on this for now. We'll go back to... Um, well, maybe try to calm some... I'm not really sure who this person is. I don't have enough magicka. Who are you? Oh, you're just a looter. See how these people are tough. For someone wearing minimal armor. Um, <clears throat> ah, it just looks minimal, but that actually has a really good armor rating. All of this is really good. Um, but we'll just leave it. And then they're, they're two-handed. They use two weapons at once. Um, I've lost my party because now I'm looting stuff. Um, we'll take that. Increase our block chance. Is there going to be stuff in here? Yeah. All right, we'll take a couple of things. We can sleep. Where did everyone go? Okay, so she's still there. These are just looters, though. Okay, there's Mercurio. See, there's like good stuff here. There's like gold and stuff here. Those are hard to find. That's kind of strange for a satchel. Usually there'd be other things there, but... Okay, very well. So this has been a little bit difficult so far. So Esbern and Delphine must have just run through and killed everyone. So that was Delphine who shot him. Um, these arrows are terrible. They're so terrible that this Forsworn is not even using his or her own arrows. Instead, using the iron ones. These are the lowest quality arrows I've ever seen. That seems nice. We're going to eat that right now. <clears throat> um. <laughs> and, uh, of course, right on cue, uh, my cat is here. So... Um, I'm just going to pause this real quick. I, I actually... Oh! Wait, now Delphine's here? Weird. So I actually stopped... 
What's all of that stuff? All right, let's go over there. Hey, I stopped the recording, but not the game. So if it seems darker, um, that's why. <laughs> uh, okay, so someone hears me. That's close enough. Oh, why is there a hog raven here? That's weird. And that Whoa! Oh, it just looked really big because I was crouching. I have saber cats. Okay. I don't know if we can make any potions. Oh, that's look at this. Whoa! As an illusionist, I could really make use of this, but um, I think we keep the Krosis helmet, no? We'll do a comparison later. Oh, I'm not in combat. Look at Esbern isn't in combat. <laughs> he doesn't have any armor or, uh-oh, or any weapons. Oh, look at this. Fortify health. Can we make this? Oh, yeah. All right. Fortify health. Oh, that's cool. I'll craft a couple of things. Craft another one of those guys. Damage health. Oh, we need to save those. Um, yeah, let's quit because I want to know who's saying that's close enough. Um, that's close enough. That's close enough. All right, that's cool. What were you making? Whoa, a giant's toe. What on earth is going on over here? Why were you sacrificing a giant? That... That doesn't... That doesn't seem right. Okay, now there's supposed to be a way up here. Um, did we miss it? Or, oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So... Let's see for grins. Uh... Like if I go... Don't I have invisible? I guess not. I just have ghost walk. Invisible for ten, 10 seconds until broken. Afterwards, they teleport back. You know, I've never tried this before. Um. I wonder if it's possible for us to. 17, 19. Ghost Blade. I wonder if it's possible. I don't know if there'll be any en enemies up here or not. I'm just mumbling here, but what I'm wondering is if I can be invisible, go attack someone. Yeah. It works! Well, that's pretty darn cool. So, yeah, you can use that to do, like, sneak attacks on people, but... Um, I think Esbern is the one who just who just ran in there. Uh, we'll try to like scare someone away, huh? If I can get in there. Oh, he's in trouble. Where is he? Oh. Um. This person, I think, has magic. So we're gonna go like this, and then this. No, this. Oh, what? That's odd, okay. You didn't see me? <laughs> this is down there. So it wasn't my imagination. 
I can't hit. I thought that she would die from fall damage. There we go. Oh, Delphine went all the way down there. Um, that was a little bit dumb. Because I don't know where her body went. And she probably has good items. So, but... Okay, so we learned something. Whoa, this person has, like, everything set up over here. Cabbages? They really like cabbages out here in the Reach. Salt? I think someone, I, I believe, asks you for salt piles, so we'll take those. Oh, iron sword. Okay. Um, I don't, we don't need that. I guess there's nothing else up here. Oh, who's flame? Oh, Esbern. Okay, so... So, Delphine ran down here. There she is! I believe she's the one in charge. And she has nothing except this cool headdress, which is pretty awesome. Combined armor is pretty good. But, alright! So that was just a fun aside. But yeah, these enemies are actually pretty tough. I'm not sure who else we'll have to fight, but we'll just keep plowing our way up here. Um, and, of course... Did I miss it? Oh yeah, I did. You go in here. And of course... Whoa, that's a little bit spooky. As per usual, I just automatically, if I'm not actively thinking just gravitate towards using a bow which I'm I'm trying to actively avoid um, I'm not creatures and people I, I don't know what enemies there are maybe droggers oh that's interesting I never read that before either, that maybe the Draugr were act actually served the dragons. Okay, so there's more peeps. This guy's gonna be too high level. Wait, did that work? Um, it worked! Yeah, he talks. Kill him! Don't... Excuse me, Markirio. I have to go murder this guy. Everyone else just walks past. <laughs> I guess we could just walk past. But instead, no. <laughs> we, we just murder him in the most ridiculous manner. Alright. Why do you know all of this, Mercurio? And why are you... Why are you so upset about it? I didn't realize you had this whole backstory with the Forsworn. If you have such a problem with them, why are you all the way in Riften? It's, it seems like for someone who's so powerful that you wouldn't run all the way to the other side of Skyrim. Man, these guys have good potions. They are good at alchemy. Um, and then Delphine and Esbern just, yikes, just run on ahead. Uh, whoa, this is cool. Okay, so we're have to, supposed to have cast magic or do something? Oh yeah. Yes. All right, tell me what to do. Symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Okay. Picking pockets. Now that's the so usually these puzzles tell you what to do. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the pillar on the left. Okay, but he just he just tells us which is correct. Sky Haven Temple was sealed 
against the return. Oh, you just make them all the dragonborn? Why is, does your voice sound so strange? Oh, this is like an Indiana Jones puzzle, I think. Okay, so apparently it's just for the dragonborn. You need to stay there, dude. Okay. He's gonna come and kill me. <laughs> Mercurio. You dummy. Look at this. Parkour! Don't run past me. I need to be the. Fr I'm the dragonborn. I need to be the first one past the threshold. And then once again, see, this makes more sense. This is kind of like weird coals. Ash, that seems like that may be going forever. Okay, now what's this? What do we do here, Esbern? Just open this? Oh, God. Glass battle axe. Look at that thing. Nice. 900. We're going to get some money for this. Raw! 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 Oh, I gotta put my blood in here, or what? We have to sacrifice Mercurio? What do you say, Grandpa? What's this? Anything? Okay, triggered by blood. Oh, man. I wish I had a pickaxe. What's the hurry is... We've been doing this part of the main story quest line for like five hours. Oh, uh, cuts right through his own glove. Just a single drop. All right. Yay! This is like some fascist, right? That's like Mussolini stuff. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, there's no torch there. Oh, now there is. Yay, we finally made it to Skyhaven Temple. Alright, now it's quiet and dark. What kind of baddies are we going to have to fight here? Oh, look, these guys actually do torches and junk. Here, I'll, I can do one. Yay! There we go. Oh, right. They're, are they actually pronounced bath reliefs? I thought you pronounced the S. I thought it was bass relief, but I don't know. Yeah, they are tearing the reach apart, and we are going to do something about that. So I'll try to be quiet and just let this not cutscene, but let Esburn talk. So here's the wall here. And then he, like, understands this not written but carved history. I mean, I guess if you want a history to last for a long time, you don't use paper. You use stone. Now, do I just have to wait for him to walk up here? Why are you guys taking so long? Oh, because they're lighting all of these along the way. I completely missed that. So is Delphine walking around and lighting these things? Okay, here we go. Cool! We actually got to see people relighting. Relighting sconces? Is that what this is called? A bowl of charcoal? Okay, we'll listen to Esbern. Okay. So I can't talk to him. I'm just supposed to listen to him. Okay, so here's Alduin. Okay. Oh. 
The Lord talks. Masters of the voice are arrayed against us. So does it show how they defeated him? Yeah. That Isn't that why we're here? Patient. The Akaviri were not straightforward. <laughs> 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 seems like it seems like the writers wrote the story first. And then by the time they got to this part of the game, they're like, let's just make the wall be like 15 feet long, like a, a Disney attraction. Right. Okay, so it's important. Right. So the Winterhold mages and the shouts. And the dra the shouts are actually dragon words. They're, they're dragon tongue. Uh, no, I have never heard of anything like that, but we should go ask the Greybeards. I I just learned that I'm the Dragonborn. I was afraid you were going to say that. Yeah. I guess there's nothing for it. Right. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. What's funny with the mod for her is that she's like, you know, been retextured to be this very young looking sort of blonde bl woman, but her voice, you know, maybe doesn't sound like it matches because She's almost Esbern's age, right, in reality. Um, yeah, we'll ask Arngear. Yeah, what do you have against those gray beards? Oh, I see. She doesn't like them because they're impartial. Right. 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 Think about it. Have they tried to stop the civil war or done anything about Alduin? No. No. And they're afraid of you. I don't think they're You're afraid of me. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to Wait, did the Greybeards tell him not to do that? Yeah, they're... Well, I'll tell her not to worry, because that's the sort of thing that she expects, right? Greybeards can teach you a lot. Yeah. Don't let them turn you away from your destiny. Yeah, so we need to learn... Only a dragon can defeat a dragon. And so, certain humans can speak in the dragon tongue, and therefore can use the dragon powers against them. Good thing they've already let you into. Yeah. Otherwise. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me. Oh, well, they might. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what. Well, I don't know how passive the Greybeards are. Like, would they just let the world end? Thanks, Delphine. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Right. Yeah, like this. Oh, I see. Right. They don't have a purpose anymore if Alduin has been defeated. No, she just is out for blood. I know the. Wait a second. Okay, so I guess all he didn't know... The eight corners of the world. When the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the twice blessed fail and the red tower... Times like these, people would prefer a bit of fantasy. Dragonborn ruler chooses his throne and the white... Oh, this is part of their prophecy then. The, a return to the beginning, essentially. So it's bookended or bracketed. Right. So the the world starts the way that it ends with just Alduin. So Esbern knew all that. Yeah. He knew all that. He just didn't know about the specific shout that is used to knock the dragons out of the sky. So the idea, I guess, then, is that if we can knock Alduin onto the ground, we can defeat him. So I think what happens now, like there's these side chambers, I think what happens now is that Delphine and Esbern stay here and, tr and try to rebuild... Ooh, there's stuff here. We'll just leave that for whoever left it. Yeah, I think they try to rebuild the blades. Oh, that's nice. An ancient girl's dress. 
And so maybe we'll find more blades in a boy's dress. Wait. Tunic, but that's... That's a dress. We'll take that for Temba Wide Arms. Alright. Interesting that this... So I guess they really cared about having pelts and clothes for children. I wonder if this was intended to be a kid's room. Like, this is maybe where, I don't know, they raised up the new blades, or... I, I really have no idea. It really is strange to me. There she is. So yeah, I think she's gonna stay here. Yeah, so this is all of the blades. Right. Right. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. Right, yeah, so they're gonna stay here. Someday. Yeah, right. I'll help you find new recruits. You find anyone you think would make a good recruit. Okay. Um being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty. We should see if that uh young farmer guy in Rorikstead wants to be one of the blades. That would be funny. I brought someone to induct into the blades. <laughs> it's Mercurio. Wait a second. It is Mercurio. Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave the very well. He seems like a fighter to me. Awesome. I'll give him the oath. Here Mercurio, now you can be in the reach. Yeah, you can be in the Okay. The Dragonborn wishes to give you the chance. Yeah, you'd make an excellent blade, man. You are an awesome destruction mage. The blades. Yeah, and you don't like the Forsworn of the Reach, so you can constantly fight them off. Oh, he wants to stay. All right, cool. He was just hiding out in Riften anyways. Wow. By my right as acting grandmaster, I name you a blade. With all the privileges, rights, and burdens that bring. God's All right, cool. What do you need? Nice. Now he calls me the Dragonborn. All right then. All right, sweet. So we've parked. We've we've helped Mercurio to become like realize a better destiny, better potential. Um, all of these go to the same place, and I think we can get out. There's some really nice vistas and vantage points up here. So, we did it. I, at times I thought it was just going to be impossible to get this far into the game, but we did it. And it was actually kind of an interesting fight here. I really like the sort of architecture of the Akaviri or the blades. So, look at this. I mean, it's we'll go look around, but it's like really scenic and beautiful up here. We're also very high up. I don't know if it's possible to climb all the way up there. I'm not gonna do that now. And so I think they build out this area as well later when we come back with like some outdoor tables and things, but I just really like it up here. I mean, look at this. It's a waterfall down there. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. I would like to see what that is. Is that... I don't know what that thing is, but that... It's not a dragon. It's some weird creature. I don't have the ability yet to... Um... Can I zoom yet? No. What do you press? Shift to zoom? I guess I can't zoom. Whatever is going... Frost Atronach. This is like... That's like a mile away. I hit him? Is it... Hybrid Soul Cultist. Perfect Blood Hybrid. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but I am find it to be completely unbelievable that I hit it. Where's he going? That, there's no way. Okay, he's gone. I can't even see him anymore. Oh, no, he came back. I'm curious now to see if I can hit... Oh, no, those arrows are hitting, and he's going to look, I think. Anyhow, I don't know how you get over there, but I want to get to that house. So let's look on the map. 
and see. It's not that. Am I looking at it? I'm facing it. Okay. So it's not that far. It's like on the other side of the water. Um... Over there? I can't zoom in anymore, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know how you get over there. Maybe from Carthwaston? Carthwaston? Alright, so we'll see if Eric was his name from Rorikstead. Wants to uh <laughs> We'll see if we'll see if he wants to become a blade. But I think we can just fast travel here now, so Um anyways, the other thing I wanted to do is figure out Oh Calcelmo, right. The other thing I wanted to do I'm gonna have to go back. If you remember in the last episode we were asked by um the forge master of that um orc stronghold to deliver a sword to her daughter Geral and so I wonder if that's like an actual quest that we can do and if so I was thinking it would be it would be kind of fun to go do that but it, it really depends on like where where she is so let's see it would probably be miscellaneous yeah deliver Geral's sword to Lash Wait, Geralt's sword to Lash? Oh, Geralt was the was the woman working the forge, right? Okay, so Lash is her daughter. So, and then we can talk to Moralki about Eric. And so, yeah, we'll just see where this is. Um, show on map. Oh, she's just in Carthwaston. Okay, so let's go to Carthwaston. So all we do to do that is like go along this road here. We might have to just fight, like, go up a river the entire way, but we'll try it, so that seems like a fun thing to do. Um, oh no. I'm m most likely gonna die. I didn't intend to do this. This is not how I wanted to try to get down this cliff. Where is a tree? It's funny, though. Now I'm starting to like get my hopes up that I'm gonna be able to do this without falling to my death. Um, and so I was gonna start bragging basically like, oh yeah, you know, you just... I wanna get to that house. There's a boat here. There's a whole bunch of dragonflies and things down here. I don't... This is weird. I wish I could take this boat. There is loads of stuff in here. Look at all of this! This is crazy! Why are all these ge Oh my gosh! Why are all these gems here? Okay, this is definitely worth... Uh, let's see if we can get in here. I don't have a lot... A lock picks, but this is going okay. Ah, rats. Okay, well, so that was too much that way? I've never seen this before. I think it's probably because usually I do fall off the cliff. Holy cow. Alright. So, I wanted to get to that house. Which is above us. This isn't that deep. So, it's possible to, like, parkour your way down things. But going back up... I mean, that's really steep. Going back up is quite difficult. And I need to keep in mind that I don't have Mercurio anymore to help. What? I put... <laughs> what? I put a custom destination and it's kind of glitched. I don't think that house was that far. I think it's... Is it that? Wait. Yeah, that's the way we came from. 
Okay. So can I... Can I glitch my way up this? Is that? Oh, Juniper. I mean, this is just a mine anyway. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I see a bridge. Oh, yeah. So that house might still be there. Uh. Would I have an easier time on the other side? It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, but how do I get over there? Um. I think we can use a shout power, so let's try that. Let's try sprint. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, it's just a Forsworn looter? Why is he moving so fast? <laughs> what? Um. Will he go over there? I think he he's probably stuck. Um. We'll just try to get him to to leave us alone. What weapon am I holding? Oh, I don't, don't want to kill guys with her. Oh, maybe we could. Ki nah. I don't know. That's fine. It probably won't break. You didn't. Somebody help! Help! Someone do something! I'm getting out of here! What? we can do is uh, this I can't um. where did that other guy go Oh, there's... Oh, yeah, we made it to that house. That other fourth hor forsworn, forsworn looter, fourth sworn, blah, 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 forsworn looter just, like, disappeared into the mountain. Cool, we made it. Oh, he's back. You can get Rodad if you want, and then, um, we'll just make him run away. Ah! Are you just gonna go there? Yikes. So, I'm learning a lot more about how to use illusion magic after yeah uh, this sword is nice and bloody now I'm learning finally how to use these powers after what how many hours of this playthrough you know early on I was using it mainly for like goofs and gaffs try to control the situation and not use it in combination with um, you know melee or bow attacks what is this a oh, Pavo's house He might attack, especially since I'm holding weapons. What time is it? I don't want to... Oh! Um... No, 
No, I've just been talking up this whole thing. Like, oh yeah, we've just been learning, just been learning about new powers. So, um, we're gonna do that. Glass mace. Do this. What is going on here? He's not a forsworn. We're not gonna take any of his stuff. He's just a guy who lives here. What can we learn about him? A blacksmith. Um, that's interesting. And he does have a whole eat our cheese wheel, so. It's interesting. Who is this guy, I wonder? These are the sort of cool little details, you know. Um, okay, so we can get to Markarth along this road. How far is Markarth? It's far. So we're gonna just deliver Geralt's sword to Lash, and then the last thing we probably will do in this episode is go back to Dushnik Yal, the stronghold, and get um, Garbosh, the one-handed, or whatever his name was. I keep think <laughs> I couldn't remember after the last episode I recorded, and in my mind I've just been calling him Garbage the whole time. Garbage the one-handed. Um, we're all alone now, and so I may as well just use this ability. Um, since there's like no one, no followers or anything that we have to worry about keeping up. A lot of flowers here. I guess we should see if there are any more boats. I mean, those look flawless rubies and things. Just really amazing, amazing find to get all of those. Oh, that looks spooky. All right, so we just keep going though. Okay, so Carthwaston White Run is this way? How? That is astonishing. It seems like. No. What was that? Oh, cool. We can see a little bit still, I think. Is that... What am I looking at there? Part of Karthspire? No, that's closer, isn't it? That's much closer. I'm looking at something right there. Um. Wait, I don't want to do that. I want to put a marker. Yeah. I don't know how you get over there, but we're not going to get distracted again. It looks like you, we're, we're, someone else can do that in their playthrough. We're just going to keep going along this way. There's some YouTubers who have devoted their entire, you know, YouTube channel to just secrets and special missions and things. Who is that? All right, we're not going to pick a fight. Um... And I think the game really does honestly provide that much depth that you could, you know, do a one hour episode, you know, every week of, you know, just, what are these, these guys are picking something. There's a Nern root over there. Um, we'll go get that. Another one. But yeah, I really do think that it's, it, you know, obviously they've, other people have done it, and there's probably room for even a few more. I mean, there's just, this game has so much depth. It really is just remarkable. And, and what I mean by depth is actually breadth or width, right? Like, there's a million different little things to do, and only a handful of them really have any significance. So we'll just catch up to this guy without using magic. Oh, he's just a farmer. I'm on my way to solitude to join the legion. Oh, interesting. Best of luck, you dark elf. And we'll see what this guy has. Is this another farmer? Oh, this guy's just Talsgar the Wanderer. Oh yeah, we've run into him before. He's taught us about speechcraft. Um, should we have him sing a song? For a generous fellow traveler. Uh, we'll have you sing about me. <laughs> He's just gonna... Wait, is he gonna... This one's a favorite he has a massive we all sword. Our he has an... Hero, 
An elven sword or glass sword? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Power of the ancient Nord art. If believe the dragonborn comes. Heck yeah. He's still going. Wait, Karth Waston's this way? Alright, well, let's see if he can. Can you teach us anything about. Okay, great. Listen. Hello there, friend. Hi, can you teach me about speechcraft? Oh, okay. Solitude? Alright. Oh, there's a civil war camp around here. I probably shouldn't burn out all my stamina. I probably shouldn't burn out all my anything. I should probably call Frost. Oh, is this it? Uh-oh. Uh... I want you to sell swords out of my mind. Oh, no. What's your tongue, native? You leave when we're sure there's no force war here. Oh, no. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell oh, I see. The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile, pile of dirt. Pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. <laughs> that guy sounds like Jace. These guys are just going to stand here? And you guys are burly. This guy is having all kinds of problems with his mine. Let me go talk to this dude. The mine is closed. He has a big orcish shield. He has a lot of heavy armor on. Um, who's in charge? I'm not from here. I'm okay. These are my men. All right. Hey, Mercs. Forsworn attacked a while back. Y'all had no men to spare. Oh, I see. The Silverbloods generously offered to send us to clean things up. Ah, and have you done it? That old native to hand over his land in oh. services. Then we leave, and everyone can get back to work. What kind of deal is that? Yeah, I could try to convince him. Mm, do that, and I'll make sure you get a cut. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so these guys, it's a bad deal, right? It's a really bad deal for the original owner from Carthwaston. He's going to give over, sell the rights to his mine, or not sell, give the rights to his mine to these dudes, and then the Carthwaston people are going to still work the mine for just a percentage. So instead of being owners, they're just going to be like renting, right? It's going to be... Uh, it's not... Sharecropping. Share mining. Not a good idea. Oh, really? Are they from Markarth? Ah, uh, I see. Uh, I see. So you're not actually part of the Silverblood family. You're just the head of this mercenary band. Alright, well, nice chatting to you, dude. Alright, that's not what we came here for. We came here to find Losh. Here he is. We'll talk to him later. We'll try to find this orc lady. Oh, did, is that why the... Okay, she's over here. I was going to say, wait, is that why this marker moved? She's not here. Is she here? Yeah. I missed my chance, but we'll go down into this mine. I guess we can get a pickaxe here. Usually they have them for free. In fact, usually they'll offer you... But here she is, just staring at the wall, or possibly... Einafetch. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dushnik. Yeah, from Dushnik. Y'all. Yeah. Everything else I do is my business. I agree. Listen, I, 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 um, I don't know how to say this appropriately in a culturally correct way, but a lot of my friends are orcs. They are nosy. Um, were you? Are you like the structural engineer down here? This looks great. Is that why? You, were you? Wait. Why did you leave? Oh, you just teleported down here. Okay. Hi. You should talk to Einafitch. He runs the mine. All right. Look. I want to talk to you face to face. Need something. Yeah. So that's it then. Don't come back. Wait, what? Thank you. 
here. Don't come back. You honored my mother's task and should be What does that mean? Now, I need to be alone. Oh, that was all the stuff about mourning and anguish and loss. We got 500 gold for delivering a sword. So, I didn't realize that. Would you like to join me in hunting? I would. I to hunt with you? I thought you preferred being alone. Your arms and legs are fit for catching strong, agile prey. Oh, interesting. Okay, so she's embracing being part of this community now? But I have work to do with the mind. This is fascinating. Oh, now she's just totally bummed out. House, okay. I didn't realize that. Okay, yeah, so I can just take this without um, stealing. I didn't realize that that was going to happen. I mean, I, I'm i right hand man. I'm sorry. I, oh, okay. Hey, let's chat then. Let's get Not your opinion. Would work for a is a good man. Okay. He's actually from the Reach. He's a native. But he's not Forsworn. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was... Be careful. I'll be careful. I want to. I work in the mines. Can you I tell me any more about like cu the cultural the significance of you accepting the sword from your mom, and now you can't go back to your stronghold? I I don't know. I thought you would go back to your stronghold for some reason. I didn't. I didn't understand. But I guess it's basically like your mom saying, "Best of luck to you." Take this sword as a gift. Go out and and make me proud. Make the blood flow. I guess she expects to. I hope she does. She expect to just hear back about your stories. Can I get this woodcutter's axe too? Yeah, we don't need it. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I didn't keep track. All right, let's go talk to Einthatch. 500 gold is amazing for just delivering a sword. Yeah, silver. Okay, so these guys are actually making silver. So let's go talk to Einthatch and figure out what we want to do. But then still, mainly what I want to do is go pick up Garbage, the, the one-handed. All right, we'll talk to this guy. I'm one of the few oh, he has interesting tattoos. Doesn't make me very popular. Yeah. Okay, are you in charge here? I already know the answer to that. Trouble with the mine. Is what it is. The silver bloods are trying to muscle in on my land. I love your mutton chops. Mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show up to help. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. Oh. Wait, so he didn't ask them to come help? I thought he asked for help. Oh, I guess he sent word to the Jarl in Markarth. And the Jarl didn't have men, and so the sellswords went instead. Um, what if I convince them to leave? You can try, but I keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you should sell the mine. He, I don't think he will. Yeah. My family has owned Karth Wasted for generations. Oh, Karth Wasted. I've been pronouncing everything wrong. Einathok, Karth Wasted. Nords think I'm working for the Forsworn. Forsworn think I'm working for oh, the So Nords. it's actually really difficult for him. Um, let's see what he says if I do this. No, this is my land. Yeah. You expect me to just hand it over to those silver blood thugs? Okay. I'll give you a fair price. 265 gold for an entire mine? I got 500 gold for an iron sword. <laughs> they won't stop until you do. That's odd. I don't want to intimidate him. Forget it. Let's do that. Yeah, let's forget it. All right. This is very engaging, but I think I need Oh no. <laughs> uh, this is very engaging. But I think I probably need backup. Especially, are there still Forsworn down here? I'm going to have to fight all of these dudes on my own. This is not going to go well. Uh... Let's try it. 
<laughs> At this point, we're just talking. Right? Just talk. So who's down here? Okay, there's this guy. There's loads of stuff down here. What do you have to say? Alright, no sudden moves. Alright, alright. Alright, Steven Seagal, no sudden moves. Alright, alright. Okay, he's just another mercenary. Wait, why do y'all why do y'all talk the same? Like have you been hypnotized? We're in control of this mine. No sudden moves. Okay, so this area I can get the high ground and can possibly even I might even be able to use a shout power. Um we're in charge of this mine. No sudden moves. Like, I at least can get out over here. And fall. So, th okay, there's some options there. Just a weird floating... Stalagmite. I don't think I can get up there. Of this mine! No sudden moves! These guys are not mining. These guys have just set up an actual literal camp down here. This is bullshit. No moves. no moves. This is BS. <laughs> I guess I probably would want to come up here. What have I got? Calm. I probably want to try to fury them, but these guys might be too high level. Um, but we'll try. Okay. I've been sent by Silver I'm so short. <laughs> Look how short Jace is compared to this guy. Are we not standing on the same level? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. I like it better from back here. All right. The mine is closed. I want you guys to leave. Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Ina Thatch. <laughs> Karth Waston, Ina Thatch. This whole town wants you to leave. Dealing with a mob wouldn't be good for my coin purse. Wait, what? Fine. We're leaving. That actually worked. All right. Well, I didn't. All right then. I didn't expect that. We're in control. control of this mine. Oh. No sudden moves. I really didn't think that would work. I guess I have higher speech than I thought. Um, how high is my speech? Let's go look. Uh, oh, my speech is 50. That's why. I have no points put into it. It's just, it's just crazy high. Um, well, that's why that worked. All right. Very well. Hello. I did it. Now give me 12 gold pieces. That won't be the last we hear from the silver bloods. Yeah, good for you. I mean, it's great. You're running two silver mines. For me and my workers. I mean, that, that's an awesome source of money for 800 gold from him. Wow. All right, we made 1,300 gold coming to this town. This, this is the most gold I think I've ever made in one place. Okay, now that's a bar Is that a barracks? Or is this someone's house? Oh, okay, it's someone's house. All right. So the last thing that we want to do is... Go pick up Garbage the One-Handed. So we'll go here. And we'll go talk to Losh, Losh's mom again. 
And that is a nice looking sword. Wait, why are the doors open? This stuff... O Frost! Alright, come on, homie. You need to be inside. I think there's a more appropriate place for you to be. I am the hunt's wife of this stronghold. Awesome. Um let's go up here. Yeah. I work the Hi Garol. We must. Uh Are you looking to work? The no. mines are nearby. You bring me ore, I'll give you coin. Oh yeah, yeah. I just wanted to let you know about your protect yourself or deal some damage. Um your daughter that we gave we gave her the sword. We, we gave her the sword. Um, <clears throat> we're going to outfit this dude in all orcish stuff. So we're actually going to sell this thing. Um, and sell this too. And sell... Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you! Are you garbage? I hope my mother are much meat and skins to the stronghold. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, here's Chief Burgook. Thanks, buddy. Alright. What is this? We almost cut me, man. You need to be more careful. Yeah, Gor Garbage the Iron Hand. Garbage the One-Handed. Gorbosh the Iron Hand. Wait a second. Why did that happen? I used to wander the corners of Skyrim like you. Wait, why do we, why did, I don't mind that we love each other, but, okay, man, I need your help. Let's see how this goes. All right. It's the start of a new chapter in this playthrough. Wait, what the heck happened? What's going on? Oh. Um, okay. Here's a good chance. Yeah. Oh, but that's not great. Uh, we want to shoot fire at this dude. Careful! Careful, garbage. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, Burguk came out and killed him. I understand, Chief. Wait, who's this? Wait, who are you? Wait. Wait, why are you running away? Wait, did, where did you come from? Did you, are you the one who made this guy? What? I don't know what's going on. Um, like usual. But anyways. Awesome. That works out fine for me, garbage. Come on, let's go back inside the stronghold. I understand, Chief. Come on, Gorbash. 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 Let's get back inside the stronghold for now. Yeah, good. We're going to finish the episode like this, and then we're going to figure out what we want to do next. Um, there she is. Yes, she does. All right, we're going to be part of the Orc stronghold for, for tonight. We're going to walk the wall here. And, um, yeah, anyways, I'm looking forward to adventuring with Gorbash and, uh, learning how to pronounce the names of the people and the places inside Markarth in the Reach. Alright, anyways, as usual, thanks for watching. Bye.